Did you know there were ice caves in Pagosa Springs? Well, there are, and we're gonna go check them out. Let's go. Come on, let's go. go. River Trail. This, this, this way? Nope, we go the other way. So we're north of town, north of Pagosa Springs, and we parked at the Piedra River Trail parking lot. Yeah. And it's just a short hike up to these really cool fissures in the ground. They're also called ice fissures. And you walk down in them, and they're cold little crevasses. They're not huge, you can't get hurt in them. But if you didn't know you were looking for them, you could miss them. They're really cool geological features here in town, so it's worth checking out. And it's a really nice hike too. There's a lot of really pretty views Why and things to see. see. You can see the Piedra River. River. There it is. There it is. Hey, the moon! Yep. First time being on the moon. This is a smooth trail. It's not a hard hike. Just your typical rocky path. Oh wow, the aspens are already starting to turn yellow. Here we go, aspens with yellow leaves. I just want to thank everybody who watches and subscribes and comments. We've had so much fun this summer and we really hope that we can carry on into fall with some interesting things. I think we can. Um, and then over the winter, we'll see what comes. If there's any interesting ideas you guys have or want to see for winter time in southwestern Colorado, let us know. We're excited to explore more of um, Utah, New Mexico, and checking out some of the arches in the area. So that's kind of what's to come. <laughs> So you hike through the open area and then you come into the more treed forest. And look at this, there's already yellow leaves falling on the ground. We're at a higher elevation than in town in Pagosa. There's some really cool rock formations. Wow. Oh. Look, Sammy. That's to do something about this. What are you gonna do? I guess we'll just walk under it. Here we go. That's a cool rock. Oh, let me try it. Oh, that's cool. I love all these rock formations. This is a nice trail too, because it's shady most of the time, unless it's directly noon. Well, what's gonna happen to this? We're gonna climb over it, aren't we? Oh, this is easy. Oh, what are you gonna do about this? Ooh. There it is. Oh. I'm gonna climb it. What? Whoa. Whoa, that's a big root. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so big root. Look how sandy the trail became. That's a nice break from rock. Oh, that's a cool rock formation. I hear your voice guiding me in you. I rejoice every moment. In your grace, my heart avails. In your grace, I am renewed. In your grace, my heart avails. In your grace, I am This is definitely a hike that if you're staying in Pagosa Springs, you should check out. 
it's you know interesting features for you to go see that you don't see very often and you know it's not as exciting as the big waterfalls like going to treasure falls but it's something you should do if you like to get out and hike and you're staying in Pagosa. This is an easy hike too so if you're not acclimated to the altitude I definitely think that most people could do this. In your grace my heart avails In your grace oh grace I'm down The fissures are not marked, so you have to watch and make sure that you don't just walk past them. You can tell where people have gone off the main trail to go down into something, but don't expect to see a big sign that says, you know, turn here, ice fissures here. They're not labeled or marked. Snack break. All right, what are we coming up on? There's a hole in the ground. So there's more than one. So you'll find one and then you can kind of follow along. Hoo hoo hoo, down there you go. What if a bunch of bats flew out? Hoo. Let's go down, let's go this way. So see these big fissures that just go down in the ground. And then there's one that you can actually easily walk down into. Yeah, and then you can squeeze. Silas was right about having a headlamp. <laughs> so there it goes all along. And you can, act, you can get down in here. So you can see there's rock on either side. So this isn't just like a dirt canal or dirt on either side it's rock is it a, do they fish here what no, do they, they do don't fish a fisher is a crack there's one Ooh. so yep. from the trailhead we have hiked half a mile And it's taken us less than 20 minutes. Get out. Yeah, look. Ooh. That is a deep, look there, look. There's deep crevasse in the ground. Yep. I think you're down in. where you have to walk down. Yeah, down, down we go. So they're, they're called ice caves, but they're not really caves because as you can see, you're not going down inside of anything. These aren't parts of a mine. These are just natural fissures. Yeah. And a lot of times the things that you, you know, go down into in Colorado are remnants of a mine. So this is special. And it's cool down in here. This rock is really cold. Ooh! The bear living down there. Ah, no, don't say that. Yeah. Big safe spot. Woo! There we are. There's a over there. So, how can people get down here? Same way we did. It's 
see you climb up. It's getting dark, so I think we are ready to get out of here. There's a tree that's fallen over the top. All right, now I make my way up. For you. See if I can do it. Whew. Oh, and it's like we're coming back in today. Yeah. Right, follow me, Sam. I'm going to show you how you can get out of here. Daytime. So that is what we just came up out of here. See, there's more through here. And the nice thing about the hike back is it's downhill. Whoop, whoop. So you have to whoop and you have to knock to call a Bigfoot. It's like a Bigfoot. Is that Bigfoot? Oh, oh. Oh. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little hike. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.